<laughs> and do you know what it made me think? That, that this, that your modern day comedy, it all seems to be aimed at young people. You know, the average age of this audience is, is what? Is it about 30 at the most, I would have thought. Few people pushing it up, few people bringing it down. Mick, am I right? But, um, <laughs> how old are you, Mick? 27. 27? You're boyish. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a nice one. And I thought, it's all aimed at young people, you know. So I decided I might do a gig, you know, for, for, for some old people. And someone said to me, it won't work because old people, they don't like swearing and all that sort of stuff, you know. And they, yeah, but they, they do. They just don't do it in front of young people. When they're on their own, they fucking... Put me, I put my head around the corner at a tea dance once and I was in there going, fucking hell! <laughs> fucking ballot! Just to get it out of the system. <laughs> So I organised a gig, and it was in a place called South End on Sea. Do you know it at all? Yeah. You know it, mate. How well? <laughs> no, you just you've been there, though. Yeah. It's in Essex, anyway. You know you get these stories about jokes about Essex girls and Essex blokes, and they say they're all stupid and they just fuck all the time and all that. You know, and it's very, very, it's a horrible regional attitude, you know. And you go there and you think, well, I know what they mean, but it still seems unfair. <laughs> I think it's unfair. They do say that no matter where you are in the world, if you want to hear the sound of the sea at South End, all you have to do is hold a shell suit up to your ear. <laughs> anyway. So it was, uh, it was uh, this old people's home in, in South End on Sea, right, July. It was fucking hot. So hot, some of the old age pensioners had unbuttoned their overcoats, you know. <laughs> fucking hot, isn't it? <laughs> And a bit sexy, I think. <laughs> so, I was all set to go on. First of all, the compere went on. Now, the compere was actually a member of the old people's home, right? And he did about 25 minutes, you know, 23 of which was him getting to the microphone. <laughs> and then he did a bit, and he, he was going all right, and he said, right, we're going to have a, a chap on now. He said he's going to tell you a few jokes and stuff. He said, but first of all, he said, I'd like you all to join me in the club song, All Young People Are Cunts. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to have trouble here. I sensed. <laughs> you know, you pick up on things. I sense, I sense trouble. And they were the worst fucking audience. I, I, were you there? No, they were the worst. <laughs> they were the worst audience. I've never known a, a crowd like them. They were terrible. They, they wouldn't respond to me knock-knock joke until I'd showed them some proper form of identification. <laughs> Heckled, right? I said, why did the chicken cross the road? This old bloke said, I wish I could afford fucking chicken, you young <laughs> bastard. <laughs> now, to be honest, I don't, I don't mind a bit, a bit of heckling nowadays, you know. You can have, have a bit of a chat, have a bit of a laugh, and it doesn't bother me, right? When I first started, it used to really, you know, used to, I used to be scared. The first gig I ever did, I stood in the wings, I was terrified, you know, I was trembling. I thought, if anyone heckles tonight, I'll, I'll fucking explode, right? <laughs> And I went out and I did two or three jokes and I was a bit nervous, crowd could see it wasn't going well and this bloke at the back show to get off your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was frightened to look up. I just thought it's going to be some really big, nasty, aggressive bloke going to give me a fucking hard time. And I was wrong. In fact, it was a very caring, considerate bloke who was pointing out the fact that I was standing on my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> get off your shit. <laughs> stage. I left the stage at the old people's home. I was, I was a wreck. I'd, I'd, I'd had a hard time and I felt bad. I was a broken man. And there was a nurse there. Her job was to look after the old people, give them regular medicals. And she was there in case it was an emergency, you know. And she took me into a little room and, uh, you know, gave me a cup of tea. And she was very nice. I, I quite fancied her, I'll, I'll be honest with you. But I thought, I, I don't think I could get romantically involved with someone when I know they spend some of their afternoons with the fingers up old age pensioners' bottoms. You know? <laughs> It wasn't a job, she's just a bit of a practical joker. <laughs> she used to go up to him in the TQ, you know, well, hey, get, get off. 